I'm Hazel, I'm here with Fuse TV and today I'm here with Kanum, he's on the fashion committee, we're at a fashion society event, we're mostly here to talk about his outfit so he's going to give us a talk through that. Yes. Okay, so I'm mainly like inspired by like like all kinds of fashion, I like androgynous fashion, so like fashion that kind of plays with masculine and feminine energy, so like for instance I'm wearing a very masculine top and stuff like that, like it's men's clothing but then I've got a feminine twist with the beret, with the net, like the accessories and things like that, so like in my day to day life I just try and like draw inspiration from like the masculine, the feminine, blending them together, um, but yeah and like fashion in the 90s as well I'm really inspired by as well. Nice. You might as well, you know, take all the best elements from men's and women's fashion, take advantage exactly of both. So do you also study fashion or do you just... I actually don't. Oh, what do you do? So I study chemistry actually. Oh, okay. I know, right? It's like, no, he doesn't study fashion. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I want to do fashion after uni. So I want to go into like brand management in like maybe luxury fashion. So like I'm always trying to stay connected to fashion. So creative energy, styling, I always try and keep it in the area. And then, you know, in the daytime I study chemistry, nighttime, a fashion, yeah. fashionista. A Hannah Montana. <laughs> yeah, fashion. Hannah Montana could never, but yeah. <laughs> With the fashion committee, I would just say, stay tuned and watch out because we're coming for everything this year. I'm with Sarah today and she's going to talk us through her outfit. But before I start with that, I'm just going to ask, like, what, how are you involved with this event? Are you like... So I am one of the events coordinators for the Fashion Society. So yeah. we've been putting this together. We're going to be doing a whole load of events throughout the year. But we're starting with this and it's been a really great turnout so far. Okay. So very happy with it so far. Yeah, it turned out really well. How would you describe your style? That's a very good question that I don't think I've ever had to answer. I don't know, I guess I kind of just do whatever I want. Like, it's very, very very random like one day it's like full matching tracks and another day it's full dress and I'm here to talk with Shakira she's got a stool um yeah could you tell us a little bit about it yeah so I've got my stool over there so I've got some t-shirts um, with a few varied designs my concept was more you know military um, themed and just you know different graphics so I've got that going on what was your inspiration for that in the first place the t-shirts in general just I guess start. like where did the military theme come from because that's quite unique yeah um, I'm more into you know like tactical functional clothes so it was just look, looking deep into that and then starting off by making t-shirts and graphics and things like that and then I've kind of delved into just actually sewing my own stuff you know making my own buttons and yeah. all that kind of stuff there so that's kind of like how you just started to decide to become a younger designer or yeah 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 so I do study fashion design um, I am in my third year, so it was more just like second nature to me to just... Oh, uh, okay. What got you interested in fashion in the first place then and designing? But what got you interested in becoming a designer? Um, for when I was young, you know, I just loved fashion. I just loved putting up my own clothes and trying to, you know, make something of my own. So it's really started from there and then I've just kind of looked at it more on a serious level and how I can really build a brand and start getting it out there to the people. Thank you.